I'm here with Zach Egler of the UCCS men's soccer team. First off, Zach, how you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Now, this weekend, you had a busy weekend. First off, heading to South Dakota School of Mines. Had the one and only goal for that one. Then went to Regis. That one went 2-1. to one. You had the game-winning goal for that one. So, you know, how did the weekend go for you? Well, I mean, kind of explained it already, but it was great. It was a great weekend. Um, the team, I thought, you know, played well. Um, we didn't play poorly, but um, just to get those two um, two goals was, was special, and it was a great weekend for, for us all. And you did win RMAC Offensive Player of the Week. You know, what does that honor mean to you? Um, I mean, it means a lot. Just um, just to be recognized by the conference um, means a lot to, uh, to me as a player. and just kind of keeps me motivated to, to keep playing my best. And then Regis, you guys won 2-1. to one. That was a big game coming towards playoffs and the RMAC tournament. Yeah. You know, how did you guys step up for that game? Um, I mean, we, know it was a, we knew it was a conference game. We knew that um, the race at the top of the table was really tight. So that kind of just motivated us to, to make sure that we got business done that day. And, you know, heading towards the end of the season, how are you guys keeping this momentum going and how is the chemistry going? Um, we're keeping the momentum going by just um, – making sure that we put ourselves in the best position we can for playoffs. Um, that's what our goal is right now, is to make sure that we're trying to get that first round bid um, or first round uh, buy. Um, so we want to get first or second in the, in the conference, and that's kind of what's keeping us going. Um, oh, and then this weekend, a big we weekend playing two more RMAC teams, you know, how is your team going to step up for those and, you know, the one tomorrow even? Yeah, we've got a we had a good uh, week this week just of rest. Um, we got out and trained uh, and trained some, but we're really just uh, it was a long weekend this past weekend, so we want to make sure that our bodies are are nice and rested up. Um, we got we got to finish the season strong. You know, we've done a good job so far of putting us in a good position for playoffs, and we got to make sure that we end the season well too. Um, just make a make it a complete season from start to finish. So now, Zach, you did have you already have three game winners: one against MSU, one against South Dakota Mines, and then one against Regis. You know, can we say that you are pretty clutch? Um, I'd say so. I mean, I'm. I just. I were, I've always been a, a goal scorer, and I've always been able to put myself in in the right position, mm -hmm. um, uh, kind of the right times, and knowing where the ball is going to pop out. Um, so I've 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 always kind of had that knack for the goal. So, and you know, talking to Johnny, coach, head coach Johnny King, you know, tells every one of his players to be ready to step up. You know. Mm -hmm. How do you keep that mindset going to games and, you know, knowing that you're going to get a chance? Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough going into the game, um, not being a starter, mm -hmm. being able to um, come off the bench fresh, ready to go with the intensity, with the mindset that you have to be able to perform. Um, and it's, it's, it's not an easy thing to do, but um, I've been able to just work my hardest whenever I get out there um, and just focus and concentrate. And if you're, if you're able to do that, you're able to keep the level uh, where it needs to be. And, you know, you were away last week and you guys are home and then you're away again. Mm -hmm. You know, how does that take a toll on the fatigue and the bodies of this team? I know it's, it's hard. It's hard when you're stuck in a bus for um, seven, seven hours mm -hmm. traveling somewhere. Um, but just keeping the, keeping the blood flowing and keeping kind of your legs loose is really important just on those long road trips. And then making sure you get adequate rest after the road trips are done, too. Um, just making sure that you're taking a day um, just to kind of recover eat well um, it goes a long way and you know your defense has played a big factor this season you know how much credit do you guys give them for you know keeping these games you know close but also you know making sure that no one really does score yeah they've they've, they've done an incredible job we have a lot of talented guys um, in, in goal and on our back line um, that are very skilled very fast very quick um, and they, they deserve a, a ton of credit for keeping keeping teams uh, forwards um, under control and not making sure they get dangerous any, any, any dangerous opportunities. Um, so the big huge credit goes to our defensive line, yeah. And also, you know, you are an upperclassman. How is the leadership going for this team and how have you stepped up as a leader? Um, leadership's great. I mean, our, our captains, Court and, uh, Court and JR, have um, done an exceptional job of leading the team, setting an example as to what's required. Um, getting us amped up before games in the huddle. Um, the leadership's strong, um, and I've have done my part, and just by um, just by like being an example of mm -hmm. you know 
if you do get that opportunity, if Coach does your call your name off the bench, making sure that when you go out there, you're giving it your all, that you're giving it 100%. So that's what I try and do. And you know, you've played soccer, played soccer a long time. You know, what does soccer really mean to you? Soccer, soccer means a lot to me. I've been playing it since I was, you know, since four, four years old. And, um, it's it's just it's such a fun sport to get your mind off things, even if you just want to go go Sunday, you know, Sunday afternoon, just kick a ball around. Uh, it, does, it means a lot to me, um, but it's not everything. You know, there's a lot more to to life than just than just sports and soccer. But soccer is a big part of my life for sure. And you know, also talking a little bit about head coach Johnny Keane, got to give a little credit to him. You know, how big has he played a factor in your soccer career? Um, you know. Coach Keen is he's, a, he's an amazing coach. He's some of the best coaching that I've ever ever received as a player. Um, I respect him a ton for what he knows and um, his his coaching ability for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. He does he does an exceptional job of pushing the players to be the best that they can be. Um, just in what he requires out of practice. Um, you know, if you're if you're struggling to you know um, make good touches or make good passes, you know he gets on you about it. You know, he's like, come on, you know, you got it's got to be better. Um, so he's, he does a great job of uh, encouraging you and, and, uh, and making sure that you're being the best player that you can be and pushing it and becoming for better.